Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on robot framework. If you are an existing subscriber, thanks for all the support. If you are new or a regular visitor to my channel and haven't already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. To subscribe to this channel, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video, you get the notification immediately. In this session, we will take a look at a simple Selenium UI example. For this, I'm going to make use of uh, this website, the internet hero kvapp.com. And uh, the example which I'm going to take is for the login page in the form. And this is the complete URL for this particular test case, which I'm going to write in robot framework. Okay, so I'm going to pro provide this link um, in the video description as well. So first we will go and create a new robot file in the test demo project, which we had created, which we have created earlier. <clears throat> so for this, right click, select new file, provide the file name here. with extension robot, click on OK. We have covered in the earlier session uh, what are the sections which can be in a particular uh, robot file. Um, starting with settings, I'm going to use settings here. And here I'm going to use, since this is a Selenium example, I'm going to add library here library with two spaces selenium library in the earlier example i have used a selenium 2 library which is old library the current library is called selenium library instead of selenium 2 and i'm going to add a keyword here The keyword I'm going to call it as login to Heroku app, which is this website here. Okay. And the indentation is very important in, in Robot Framework. So this is the login to Heroku. Login to Heroku app is the keyword and underneath that I'm going to add open browser followed by two spaces and the URL name here and which browser am I going to use? I'm going to use Chrome here. Okay, so now um, this open browser has some issues. It says keyword definition not found. This is the general issue which most of the users will uh, uh, face. And this is related to IntelliBot. And so this has got nothing to do with Selenium library. It is to do with IntelliBot. So the solution for this is you need to go to file settings, click on plugin. So here we have installed IntelliBot this plugin. So this plugin has some issues. There are two solutions for this. And the first one is, uh, since we are using IntelliBot, there is a patched version for uh, fixing this particular issue. Um, and I'm going to skip that particular IntelliBot patched version for this particular uh, video series. Instead, I'm going to use the other option, which is the second option. Let's go to Marketplace again and search for robot. And this robot framework support. So this is the one which I'm going to install. 
okay click on install and go to installed so now we have intellibot as well as robot framework support so i'm going to disable this intellibot and i'm going to enable this robot framework support i'm going to restart this since we have installed so we need to restart this so let us restart So now let us go back and verify whether that is enabled or not. Okay, go to plugins again, install. Okay, so Rome, uh, robot framework support is enabled and IntelliBot is disabled. Okay, so now you can see that, you know, there is no red squiggle mark here. And uh, that means this is a valid Selenium keyword which is open browser. So with this open browser, uh, this will open the browser and will it will go to this particular URL using Chrome driver. Okay, so after this, the next step would be to type in the username under username field and password under password field and click on login. To locate the elements on this particular web page, I'm going to use the XPath locator. I have made few videos on this, um, on how to find the XPath or how to use the locators under Selenium section on my channel. I would recommend you to go go through those videos first before um, you proceed further here. To find the XPath here, um, I'm going to go to developer tools using F12. And from here, I'm going to inspect the element and it is of type input and a name is username or I can use ID or name here. So input Okay, so this is the X path which I'm going to use. The keyword which I'm going to use for uh, um, adding the text to this particular edit box is input text. Followed by the X path. Followed by the username. The username here is Tom Smith. The same way I'm going to input the text in password as well. So here um, ID is password. Instead of username, it is password here. And the password is this password here, super secret password. Okay. So now we have entered username and password. The next step is to click on this login button. Okay, let us go and inspect the login button here. Okay, inspect. Now there's a, this is the button and it contains the text login. Okay, so now the next keyword which I'm gonna use is click button. 
click button followed by two spaces and the text which I'm looking for is login. Okay. Since there is only one login button on this particular page, so it will go and find out that button and clicks on it. Okay, all these actions are grouped under a login to Heroku app keyword. So the next step is to create a test case for this. So we'll create a test case now. Okay, so this is our test case one, which is log into web page. Hiroko app. Okay. Now, again, the indentation is important here. Okay, so here we are going to call the the keyword which we have just created, which is login to Hiroko app. One thing you need to make sure is uh, you need to have this uh, Chrome driver installed and ensure that you have that Chrome driver on the system path so that it finds out the Chrome driver. Okay, so the next thing is to run this. Let us run this. Right click. External tools, run robot test. It's opening the browser now. Okay, so what it has done is it has added the username and password and clicked on that button as you can see you are logged into secure area now okay so that is our simple test case that is the end of this session thanks for watching if you like the video hit that like button and share it if you have any queries comments suggestions or requests Please leave a comment in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.